So Robbie. Yes. You like virtual marathons. And they're okay. Except if they're really okay. Then they're awesome. And why is the Eugene Marathon virtual so awesome? Okay, so this year they their medals are taken from the old wooden steps at Hayward Field. We're pre-raced, doing that thing around the track. And anyways, they made medals from the steps you know who at else Hayward Field. Bowerman. Yeah. The Nike Waffle Racer. That's yeah. where it was designed. Designed right there. Boom. And you can have a piece of it. Yeah, they're probably original waffle racers that walked up those steps. You know, No were. doubt. No doubt. Anyways, so the medals are made from the wood of the wooden steps. They look awesome. You're never gonna get a medal like that again. It's a collector's honest. item. Honestly, the only reason we did this was because they had a cool medal, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, we, can, like mark, okay. we can market we this We can one. do this. So anyways, check it out. Uh, link in the description to sign up. Save 25% by using code BITR. Don't What's the code? BITR. What's the code? <sighs> Just look in the description. BITR. And you'll save. So this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And today we are talking about one of our favorite brands, New Balance, and maybe helping you figure out what New Balance would be right for you. Yeah. Not Old Balance. Nope. New Balance. So I guess we could do a couple things. We could talk about shoes with fresh foam, and we could talk about shoes with shrooms, Shroom. yeah. shrooms, we could and talk shrooms. about shrooms. <laughs> we could talk about shoes with fresh foam. We could talk about shoes with fuel cell. We could talk about shoes for daily training. We could talk about shoes for racing, and we could talk about shoes that have plates and shoes that don't <laughs> have plates. I don't know. I guess there's no rhyme or reason to our reviews, anyways. So mm -hmm. we might as well just start with whatever shoe we look at and think looks cool. Well, I know Robbie, you love this, and this one's a trail shoe. Yeah, let's start so out. Why don't we start <laughs> off with a trail shoe, which has nothing to do with the rest of these? Exactly. Let's get this one out of the way or in the way. I guess depending what you like. The New Balance High Aero V6. We did a video review on this before. I'll put a link up there. And a really comfortable, like a shoe that for light trails or just honestly wearing around. Uh, if you had that REI chic going on. The other trail shoe from them that our reviewers really like that we don't have up here right now is the Moore Trail. Oh yeah, the Moore Trail was a very nice uh, high cushion shoe. This is a little bit in between. This, I, honestly, I think this works really well as a road shoe too. So if you're doing some road to trail stuff, it's very comfortable, like tons of padding. It's a little collar. on the heavy side. It is It is on the heavy side for yeah. sure. So between the Moore, did you get the Moore? I did, I did. Which one do you like better? Uh, so the more one was like way too small for me, so I gave it to my mom. And it fit her fine. Yeah, it almost fit me. <laughs> Walking around in it, because I, I could jam my toes in there, mm -hmm. it actually felt a lot more comfortable, but maybe not as like stable. This is more like I felt like our reviewers would have given higher marks to the more. They did. They definitely did. Overall, uh, the more might be the shoe you want to go with. This is if you just want a shoe that looks good, can kind of do everything. Yeah, this right is right. your, I think, your weekend camper running shoe. Like you could go hike in it, you could run in it, you could sit by a campfire in it. Yeah, and it has a beaver mouth sole. The lugs aren't super aggressive, so it's kind of just yeah. a, it's a good time shoe, right? Yeah, I kept waiting to use this one for when it snowed. Oh, you know, to have like, no, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't do it. All right, well anyways, so that's the trail shoe that you might like. Let's get it out of the way. Let's get on to the good stuff, the road business. I think we should start with like road shoes. Okay. And why don't we start with the Beacon, cause that's the baby. All right, yeah, and this one, our best daily trainer of 2020, I believe. Yep. Overall. I think it's a great shoe. I wouldn't have put it in my best, but we do it kind of like as a combined. Consensus. Robbie and Megan really like this shoe for its ability to do a lot. I liked the midsole of it. The upper, I didn't love, yeah. but I know Megan didn't have an issue with it. I think Jared, Jared liked it a lot. So. Yeah, I think it, that's the thing. This shoe is so versatile for different kinds of running and for different kinds of runners. Megan and Jared obviously have the wide foot. I even believe Jared got the wide version of the shoe. 
I felt like the upper's a little sloppy. That's probably what you're gonna say as well. Same, yeah. And it doesn't have the toe down running shoe look that I like. So yeah, I really want It's a little fat fish yeah. style. Uh, is that a real style? I don't know, it is now, a fat fish. <laughs> um, a, but the thing about this shoe was like I went on vacation and this is the shoe I took because it's good for speed work. It's good for easy days. It's it's an all arounder. I even did some trails in it, it and it worked. It's, I wouldn't recommend it for trails, but it's funny. I The next day I went back to that trail, I brought a trail shoe and I actually ran faster in the beacon than with the trail shoe. And this really rolls along nicely. I think that's one of the things I liked about smooth. this shoe a lot. Very smooth, buttery yeah. feeling on the roads. So say that you like that, but you want something with a little more cushioning and a little bit more bounce and just can handle long miles. I'd move up to the 1080 V11. One shoe that we're not showing here right now is the 880. 880 V11? 880 V11, yeah. which is kind of like the step between your traditional daily trainer. So like your Pegasus, your, uh, what are some other daily trainers? That oh, like the Saucony Ride, Ride. Or something like that. Yeah, so it fits in that category. This one has a little more cush with the fresh foam. We all like this one's upper in the front. We weren't all fans of the heel counter in this one, but overall still one of my favorite daily trainers out there. It just feels great on the foot. This fresh foam is the jam. And you know what? What do you want when you have something this good? You want more of it. Okay, and speaking of the more, yeah. let's get into that. So, so these look very similar. And we all always get asked, what's the difference between these? So really the big difference is Lots more. I mean, you can see that that's just big, big old marshmallow back there. Yeah. And what you get is a wider platform, more cushion and a better fitting upper. So overall, this shoe ends up being an amazing daily trainer. Now it's a little heavier at 11.11 .11 ounces for a size 10 and a half or 314 grams. But both Megan and I felt it rolls through the stride so well, the rocker bottom. So this one is a more traditional running shoe. I think this is a 10 millimeter drop. And this one is a four millimeter drop. Okay. So you get a very much of a rockered feel, steady platform, lots of cushioning. Well, and you thought this is basically like the better Clifton now. I That's mean, what it is. Because Megan loves the Clifton, you love it. We and, both love this. And you were pretty surprised by this because last year's version kind of sucked, right? Yeah, it was, there's a couple issues with the last year's version. The more three though comes through shining it feels great underfoot. Even though it is a little heavier, it doesn't run heavy at all. Like when we were running that, both Meg and I commented on how smooth and easy the pace was to maintain. Do you think that when they were like figuring out the name of the shoe that someone's like, oh, dude, it's the end of the day. More? There's more of everything. Yeah, what, what's the difference there? between this two? Well, uh, there's just more. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's probably. You really went down the creative rabbit hole with that one, yeah. to balance. But I kind of like it because it's easy to remember. Yeah. I mean, and some of these people have those 20 word names now. And it's true. Yeah, it is true. Of these, I gotta say, I think that for Fresh Foam, the more might be, the more three might be my favorite. Okay. Second favorite is gonna be this guy. I haven't tried the 880 yet. It's supposed to get here soon, but I have a feeling it's less and I want more. Yeah. So fuel cell, what's the difference between fresh foam and fuel cell? So fuel cell is New Balance's lighter, bouncier, super critical, super critical foam. Probably our favorite compound. Have from you tried New Balance. the critical foam? The no, it's I don't try things that are less than super. Constantly criticizing me. Okay. I don't know why I work here. New Balance fuel cell really one of our favorite midsoles out there, depending it's on- It's a lighter, bouncier, just fun, energetic, energy return midsole. The fresh foam is all about comfort, still get a nice bounce out of it. The fuel cell is bouncier, more, I don't know, just spring light. It's just that feeling that you want these days, yeah, right? Yeah, you do. So let's talk about a shoe that's just coming out that isn't even on the market yet. Oh wow, we're going into it. Let's start there. with the Lorado because it's something new. The Lorado V1, first yeah. one. Guess what this has that is normally reserved for fast? I'm pretty sure this shoe has everything. It so. does. This is the kitchen sink of New Bound, but it has a carbon fiber plate. It does. But it's not meant for racing. Check this out. Yeah, you're not. You, you can't. Even that. And you even did three push-ups yesterday. I did, I did do some push-ups. So. The, the thing about this is you've got that plate sandwiched in there, you've got a more, 
I don't know, structured heel counter here with a like a plastic heel counter to keep you steady in there. This shoe is not light. It was like over 12 ounces, almost 13 ounces. For your, yeah, for your size For size 10 and a half. But what it does is it has that bounce from the fuel cell plus the plate. So kind of mitigates some of the weight. Where I'm having trouble getting my head around this shoe, it doesn't look like a running shoe. <laughs> it looks like a wide person shoe, which obviously sucks. I mean, the color the doesn't colorway, help. The it. colorway, sorry. <laughs> I have to say toe down, it looks like a running shoe. Yeah. But the rest of it, I mean, even back here, there's like Jordan cement that you got got going on back in the yeah. back here. So I haven't run in this shoe yet, but I do imagine it's like, it seems like everything I've ever seen in a running shoe is in this shoe. My, I don't know, maybe throw some gel in there, get some Asics action going on. Yeah, I gotta say it's super comfy. And I guess we can't technically give a full review of it yet because it's not. It's still under embargo. It's for still under embargo, so you're getting a look at it before you get a look at it. Yeah. I'm still kind of like in my head, where does this fit in? I don't know. I'm gonna yeah. give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna get some more miles on it. Dude, especially at that weight, it's, uh, I don't know. It's So last year, they came out with the Fuel Cell TC, sort of mid-year, and everybody's like, okay, this is the replacement or the competitor to the Vaporfly. And New Balance is like, no, not quite. We're gonna call it the TC. It's training competition, so it's for maybe your sub-elite who wants a cushion ride with a plate, the weight isn't quite, quite right, but it's gonna work for a lot of people. And it really did it. It's a really nice, comfortable shoe, but you did start to feel the weight in the later miles. Okay, when this came out though, you were all had a, let's see, you were very excited about it in ways yeah. that I shouldn't describe. Yeah. But, and so was Jared, because his, his wide foot fit in there. Yeah. And then I feel like it died off a little bit. Like well, there was it died a lot off because of excitement I, on this. I guy. think there was a lot of hype on it all the way around. Everybody liked it. It felt great. It was nice, but it just couldn't keep the paces that you could keep in, say, some of the other okay. trainers that were. Do you think on there's it. a mental th aspect to it where, because everyone was thinking at first that this was going to be the replacement for the Vaporfly or whatever. I, I think that originally we we're like, this is going to come out and this is going to be that shoe that. If you want an alternative to Nike, here it is. And it turns out it was a training comp and competition shoe, which by the way, doesn't that encompass like pretty much everything? Yes, Okay. it does. But then New Balance will say, oh, you want it to be light and soft and cushioned? And they gave us the RC, TC, DC. training and competition, RC, racing and competition. So this shoe is lighter, has the plate in it that the TC has and has more grip on the outsole, if you see here, you got the, the diamonds. This is just a faster, lighter shoe. So this is the one that I would say you're gonna put head to head with some of your super trainers out there. And then if you only got a mile to do. <laughs> well, I love the diamond or uh, triangle grip on these that kind of mimics this in a little, a little yeah. bit. This is a Cinderella slip right here, the 5280. That's just- Built for the mile yeah. and it did, it, it did really well for the mile. And you're seeing some of the technology developed in this, in the geometry of the sole here, and also in some New Balance's spikes. We're not showing you those, but if you wanna check out spike reviews, we got Jordy and Mercer taking those on and burning up the track. Dude, do you think RC Cola is actually a good cola? I, that's what I think no. when I think of the RC. Well, here's the problem. RC Cola was sort of the knockoff of the Pepsi and the uh, Coca-Cola. And if we were calling the Coca-Cola Vaporfly, Mm. Maybe this is the RC Cola oh, probably, of, of race shoes. That's probably why they called it that. And then you come to, ooh, here it is, baby. The Rebel the Canary, Two, the which, Canary, the Butter. Which, which this one would be, you know, this is your Dr Pepper. The Dr Pepper. Yeah. Doctor is in. Now I love this shoe. This this one did really well for all of us who wore it. Um, pulling off a piece of foam. Well, so talk about the Rebel V1 first because that was like. It's just a totally different shoe, right? Uh, pretty much. I mean, some of the geometry is the same. So here's the Rebel V1, and you can see it has the lateral edge that flares out. They kind of calm that down a little bit. And the idea behind that is when you're going through your stride, if you rolled off that edge to your big toe, you got more leverage from your stride, creating more efficient stride, more efficient runner, faster times. So they kind of took some of this and evolved it, and I think they did a really nice job. I didn't love this jacquard upper, I actually had to learn the word jacquard just so I could talk about just this so shoe. So I'm gonna say it again. 
This shoe comes out and I'm like blown away because the upper is amazing, feels good. This upper is so airy, what they've done here, it kind of would remind you a little bit of an evolved version of the uh, Skechers with the, what's that? Oh, like the mono, mono mesh. mesh upper? It's like an evolved mono mesh where it has extra stitching in to kind of create the support so it's not just like a tight fitting like mesh, it's got structure to it. The offset lacing here is, is dynamic, it's great. I love the heel counter. It doesn't have a gusseted tongue, but the tongue works. It's very soft against the heel. Some people complain it's too big. Didn't bother me at all as far as size. This midsole fuel cell, it doesn't have a plate. So you're basically looking at a version of this shoe without a plate. And it turns out, I like it a lot. You love this a lot, actually. Okay. You wouldn't shut up about it, and neither would any of our other reviewers. No, even, Dave was even wearing it this past week. Yeah, Ben put in like almost 500 miles on this shoe already, yeah. which is- He's like, it started to bottom out around 400. I'm like, it's like yeah, you got your money worth if, if this foam started dying at, four, at 400 miles. It looks beautiful. I mean, this yeah. in, a day of a, in a day and age where we see so many shoe designs that we love, this one pops. And the women's color is really yeah, nice too. You wanna pop that down? That's sweet. Sweet pickle. There it is. That a thing to say? Look at this. Woo! I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say which one looks better, to be honest. I like the yellow because when you're looking toe down, but I like that one too. Okay. Your toe down is coming at you. Yeah, and you're like, that. wow, I feel like a streak. Like, what's the usage of the Rebel, by the way? I mean, I would use the Rebel for a tempo shoe. So this is a shoe you're gonna pull out on those days where you wanna do a faster workout, you wanna do quicker paces. It can handle daily miles easily. But the problem that I find with it is that you're gonna wanna move your feet in this shoe. It can handle slow paces. It feels great at slow paces. Okay. But it's a shoe that when you put on, you're gonna probably wanna go more towards your max heart rate. Favorite shoes, which, what are we going with as far as our favorites? I mean, if I was gonna try to make up like a daily trainer, tempo day, race day, I'd probably go easy day, nice comfy miles in the more three. It's gonna feel great. You throw this on and all of a sudden I feel like I lost 20 pounds. My legs would just be flying and turn over. And then race day, you're gonna go with the RC okay. for, for that plate, the light feel. Which, so this with a little more of a lever action. By the way, there's a two coming. I know, can't wait. We're gonna have the two any day now. Yeah. As far as a shoe that can do everything, if, you, if you're one of those people who just want one shoe, you can get the beacon. Yeah. And It'll this take is care of like, most of your needs. We got a great selection here. New Balance has really been turning it up like as of late. I think they're two foams, the Fuel Cell and the Fresh Foam. They're, they're really fine tuning the Fresh mm -hmm. Foam right now. Like the Fresh Foam was kind of hit or miss. Now it's like uh, they're getting those durometers, the soft and the cushion and the responsiveness just right. And the Fuel Cell too is coming in more like yeah. Firmer, softer version. So you they're... can really f figure out Sorry. what you want. Crap. So yeah, we don't really cover any of the stability shoes. Sorry about that if you're a stability guy. Yeah. Obviously a lot of New Balance shoes come in wide. You can check out our wide shoe roundup on the website if you have questions about those. Yeah, because New Balance is one of the few companies that uh, really caters, caters to, the, to the... We both said caters. Caters, yeah. We worked caters, in, caters. Caters <laughs> worked in the restaurant industry, yeah. that's why. Yeah. All right, so hey, you know what time it is. It's time for you to hit that like button. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to actually it subscribe was, it and was, turn the bell on. Apparently we haven't been telling yeah, people to turn the bell yeah, on. Make sure, yeah. But it isn't time for you to like it because you should have done that in the very beginning. Uh, as yeah. soon as the first word comes out, hit the bing, like. like. Or when you get the alert, if you're a subscriber, bing, like. Um, we have one guy I'm sure that I know, like as soon as he gets subscribed, he's like, one. he hits the down one as soon as he gets it. He's like subscribes to us just to down I appreciate videos. the dedication. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of work. Inconsistency. Uh, he's like waiting by his computer. When are they gonna post something? What if, what if you find out it was me? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe, turn apparently. There's a little bell you can hit to make sure you get the alerts when we do something. You mm -hmm. wanna know as soon as we do it. So make sure you do that. Check us out on Instagram. We have a great Strava group mm -hmm. and uh, we have a podcast. Yeah, so I'll listen to that because we had Danny or the uh, like head product line manager for New Balance. I don't know if that's an official title. That's not his official title. But basically that's what he does. And yeah, he's he, the man over there. He goes in depth into everything about New Balance and their shoes. I think that was from a couple months ago. It was but, very insightful to learn yeah. kind of some behind the scenes ways that they think about their product line. So definitely check that out. Rebel V2 is just a wild running experience.
and it's been a wild running experience from the first proto and I feel like we haven't tried to tame it we try to make make what it is be this really unique special kind of tempo training shoe and um also remember to sign up for the UG marathon that we talked about earlier and that link is in the description all right so that's it so uh Robbie how's your mom doing she's doing pretty well she's to low, my she, lover. yeah <laughs> say say hi to her she's raising her honeybees and goats that's cool yeah all right goats and bees hi, mom, mom. goats hi. and bees say hi to your mom bye mom See, if you were lucky like me and had small feet, you'd be able, we'd be able the to fit all these the shoes The dude we just here. talked to, he had a size 14 wide. He's like, why does your name sound familiar? 14 like, wide? <laughs> That's, yeah, nobody makes that. See, sometimes he when said I- when he searches shoes on Amazon and he does a filter 14 and then he does wide, all he gets is a big black Velcro shoe. <laughs> I mean, sometimes when I think of like, when they find tracks of like cavemen or like mm -hmm. old like dinosaurs, I'm like, could just be someone with a really huge foot. It could be Not Jared. A dinosaur. It could be Jared.